Mm -hmm. Oh, it's backwards. That's weird. Greetings, friends. <laughs> wow. Hi. Okay, great. Hi, Cindy. I see your comment over there. Greetings, friends. But I don't see it over here. Weird. Oh, not a comment. Is it a comment? Yes, a wave. Oh my goodness. Hold on, y'all. Okay. Hi, Cindy. I can't tell how many people are viewing, but there are two watching now. That would be me and you. Thank you so much for coming. <laughs> All right, so yeah, it is kind of crazy. You know, it's Vlogmas though. I think last, was it last year that you and I connected and we said like, oh, we were gonna do Vlogmas and then I didn't do well? Well, this year I'm not announcing that I'm doing Vlogmas, but I'm just trying to upload as many times as, as much as possible. So um, right now, what I have going on is I have no, I just posted this as you saw like a few minutes ago, if you can hear me. And yeah, it says, oh, hi, thanks so much for coming. Okay, that is so funny. Right, so we're saying that last year we were, we tried to do Vlogmas, but um, I, I didn't do, neither one of us did very well with that. And so this year I'm not announcing it. I'm just trying to upload as much as possible. And I think that, um, I think that Vlogmas gives us an opportunity to just do different things. I was just um, talking about Bronxmas to my daughter. I was like, you know, um, becoming me. I can't remember your first name. I'm sorry. Uh, I can't. Uh, can you tell me what your tell us what your first name is again? I'm sorry, becoming me. I know, right? I know. I'm bad. But um, oh look at that, Mr. <laughs> How funny is that? Mr. Fuller ju um, uh, jumped in. Okay, so um, I was telling my daughter about Bronx Smith, uh, that Becoming Me you've been um, reading. I don't even know who, Bro I asked you who Bronx is, but um, I don't know what you said. I didn't see the message uh, come back about if you responded or not. But um, Trisha, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> but um but yeah, I feel like, yeah, just do something different. Just give things a try, try something new. So it's the holiday season and I, we are about to, um, I feel nervous y'all, as you can, you might be able to tell from the way I'm talking. I feel like oh, super nervous. Like I have so many things going on and I do want to show you what I have going on because this is like, watch me film a, cook, a cooking video. <laughs> so I am going to, I have here, I'm, I'm broadcasting this on StreamYard, as you can see. As I'm sure, it, of course, it has that thing, the um, logo up there. And then, and it's really good because you two are, um, oh, Bronx is your grandson. Oh my goodness, I love that name. Um, as you can, the two of you are a YouTuber, so at least this conversation would be relevant uh, to you. So, what um, I'm doing is I'm using StreamYard to stream it because I want to use another camera so, so I can show what I'm, what I'm doing. So I'm going to add that other camera to the stream. Oh my, oh my goodness. How many, how many lives have you done in the past? This is like literally my first one. And I'm just like, oh, okay. So this is another camera. And the whole purpose of this camera though is to try and turn it around. I didn't check that to see if I can turn the camera around so I can show you what's going on. But I, can, I know I can turn the camera around this way. So I'm talking to you on my laptop and I am going to be filming the click with me video with that camera up there inside of the ring light. It's kind of hard to see it. So the camera up there in front of the ring light, 
I'm going to also be filming it with this, my phone, like my the main film. Film is gonna be with this phone. And if I need to show you what I have going on, I will show you this way. That's a lot. That's a whole lot. <laughs> Cindy already called me crazy and I don't blame her. All right. Your, your daughter did slim, what's slim? I did a few lives with my daughter doing slim. I don't know what that is, uh, right? I'm, I'm being fancy. I'm not, I'm just like, yeah, I am being fancy. I'm like, just jump all in, do the most. <laughs> do the most today, but the recipe is not the most. The, the recipe is super easy um, because an added bonus to all of this wonderful stuff is that I am not a good cook. <laughs> now I'm cracking myself up. That's hilarious. <laughs> I'm not, a. am just like, you know, learning to be a a homemaker. So um, I'm not like a bad cook, but listen, I've made cooking with love videos before. They don't, they haven't been posted. They ended up turning into comedy videos. Okay. Like it's like hilarious. Like, are you serious right now? So we'll see what happens today. Um, so I have this little tripod here so that I can show you what I'm doing. So I figured I would, um, oh, you made slime videos. Oh, that's cool. I was just telling my daughter that, um, uh, Mr. Fuller says, I call my husband Mr. Fuller. Mr. Fuller says, um, it's not true that I'm a bad cook. That's really nice of you. Okay, we're on camera. What is this? Oh, this is the right camera. Okay, so this camera, I, Want to? Huh? Is it backwards? I have to see. You have to see what it looks like. You are in the show. Turn the camera on. So with this camera, we want to see. I want to show you what I have going on on the counter. What fun would this be if this were simple? No fun. All right. And the camera went away. All right. So you can see what I have going on on the counter. That worked out. Cool. All right. So what I'm going to do is stay in camera. Oh, so. This other camera I have here, it, this tab here, is to make sure if that other camera goes beyond 20 minutes, and I'm have to go all the way over there and get all that stuff fixed, you know, taken care of. That camera only films for 20 minutes without um, before there's a there's like a problem. So, boom. All right, I'm gonna get started. I thought I was not gonna film my intro because I was gonna be nervous, but I'm warming up a little bit, so I'm gonna film my intro. Five people are watching. Welcome, fifth person. Thank you so much for coming. Uh, what I am doing here is I am filming myself. I mean, I'm talking with you, doing a live stream, my first live stream, as I am filming a cooking video and showing you what I'm doing along the way. So that's what we have going on right now. Right now, I'm going to put on my my apron. Do you? I have to wear an apron every single time. I told you, like I told you, that these things can turn into um, comedy videos. Um, I will. De I definitely get wet <laughs> and dirty. So definitely not the cleanest cook in the world. Hi, dream to dream to 
Ceylon. I probably said it wrong. Yeah, so that is what we're doing here. And right now I'm just gonna take out, so the recipe, I didn't tell you the recipe. I said it, I probably, I put it on there. The recipe I'm making is my mom's famous eggnog. My mom, first of all, in real life, normally I don't like eggnog. So, oh, sometimes I'm gonna talk to that camera <laughs> too. Cause I'm like, oh, I might as well film it. In real life, I don't like eggnog, but my mom introduced us to the most delicious eggnog probably when I was maybe like in middle school or high school. Of course, I would have the non-alcoholic -alco version, but then I graduated to the alcoholic version. And um, I just wanted to, I found, I dug up the recipe from my mom's old papers and I just wanna jump back in, serve it to my husband for the first time for the holidays and enjoy it. Uh, myself when I, um, as we put the, put the tree together. You're from Sri Lanka, very cool. Laura, hi Laura, thank you so much for coming. That is so fun. Listen, you are super organized and you have your ish together. So you don't need an, or, uh, an apron anywhere near the way I need an apron. And also I, li I like aprons. I have an apron collection between here and in Kuwait. Very cool that you're here from um, Sri Lanka and very cool to see uh, you here, Laura. Thank you so much for, for being here. So uh, you probably heard, you probably saw the news that I'm being kind of like crazy. All right, so I'm going to turn this camera back on so we can make, see, we can see together as I set up, doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, as I set up all the ingredients. So guess what? My mom's eggnog is not actually eggnog. It is um, coquito. It's a Puerto Rican eggnog. And um, guess what? The first ingredient is eggnog. <laughs> Seriously. First ingredient, Borden's eggnog. This is not Borden's, but um, I'm sure it's fine. Two cans of evaporated milk. I only have one can of that out. I actually am gonna go with the other can being coconut evaporated. I'm gonna wash my hands and wash the can. Here I am. All the cameras. I have all the cameras and I was out of shots in all the cameras. <laughs> so I'm using, I have um, organic evaporated milk and I have evaporated coconut milk because one of the ingredients that makes it different from regular eggnog is that it has um, coconut cream in it. So there's some organic coconut cream. Yeah. Camera's like backwards thing. Organic coconut cream. And it calls for condensed milk. All right, so this is not Weight Watchers. This is not, yeah, yeah, Laura. I, I have a lot, a, lot, a lot happening here because I'm crazy or just, I don't know. I was like, this somehow my for my rents is the simplest way to do it. No, that's weird. So all of none of this is this is not whole 30 because it has um um milk in it, all the milk in it. This is not um pay um paleo or whole 30 because it has sugar and milk in it, sorry. And it's not Weight Watchers friendly because it has sugar and milk coconut milk, rum, all the things, right? So this is just a holiday treat. Now it would be very interesting for me to run the points on it. If I ran the Weight Watchers points on this, I would drink less. I'm not gonna say I wouldn't drink it. I'm gonna say I would drink less, but the whole purpose, right, of running these points is that, is that you, um, you, you put your points in first so that you won't overeat won't overeat or over drink too many of the things. So I should put, I should. Actually, I have the exact recipe, right? So I should put the points in. 
that's gonna be crazy, y'all. I should, I'm gonna do that. I can't do that on camera, it's gonna take me forever, but yeah. It's food, food, exactly. <laughs> Whole 30 is food, food, also. It just doesn't have milk and beans. Otherwise, it's only food, food as well. All right, so what I am gonna do though is as I set up the ingredient, after I set up the ingredients, I need to film that. So we have eggs going on here, four eggs. Yeah, we have eggnog that we're adding eggs to. It's the recipe, y'all. What are you gonna do? All right. Yeah, that's true, just live. Um, but I'm sure you've seen a body shot and it's not just about body shot, it's really about health. Really, 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 really. Because I mean, obviously, if I drink a bucket of this, it's not healthy. <laughs> that being said, I'm just gonna live. I'm just living, I'm just gonna live. I'm totally not worrying about points. <laughs> Tell the truth. All right, so grabbing sugar. All right, so you would have thought that I would have taken everything out, and I have. Okay, ahead of time, but I, and I have. All right, so I'm gonna set up, you can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna set up the uh, da -da 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 ingredients. I'm gonna set them up in order. It says that we should add the ingredients in, in, ingredients in from heaviest to lightest. So for the sake of the video, I'm going to do that. So it said that the heaviest would be the condensed, the condensed milk. And then I imagine the coconut cream. Yeah, coconut cream. Don't put them too far back. Condensed milk, coconut cream. I'm putting them kind of up closer up so I can set up the shot. Condensed milk, coconut cream. Yes. Hi, Sheila. Thank you. Oh, your son's getting married. I mean, your daughter's getting married. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Hi, Nana. Oh my goodness. You guys, thank you so much for coming. That is so nice of you. I mean, I know you're like, okay, this is normal, but for me, it's nice. I, it's normal for people to, you know, watch YouTube, but for me, it's nice of you to come. Um, okay, so where am I? So setting these things up in order of from thickest to um, thinnest uh, liquid. So condensed milk, condensed milk, cream of coconut, Evaporated milk. Boom, boom, boom. And eggnog, vanilla extract, and then the rum. So ideally the rum would be white rum, but you can see that I don't have white rum because I don't have any. <laughs> but, it is what it is. All right, so now I'm gonna take my handy dandy. Oh, oh Ste Stephanie, welcome. Yes, Cindy, I, congratulations on your baby. All, all these, everybody has these wonderful things going on. Cindy just had a baby. Uh, Sheila's uh, daughter's getting married. Oh my goodness, so awesome. Um. Stephanie, um, yeah, okay, that's right, next year. Okay, so seriously, if you get serious next year, um, I'm gonna get serious, I'm, I'm, just not, if it, I'm, I'm getting serious next year too, for real. Like it's literally, we need to make this happen, uh, ladies. 
You freaking love eggnog. Hi, Robin. Thank you so much for coming. Oh my goodness. So I don't like re regular eggnog. So I just, that's why I make this extra fancy one because I don't know, it just seems bland to me, probably because I was introduced to this eggnog when I was, when I was little. All right, so I'm going to film the shot of the, I'll just do a voiceover on this. I don't have to worry about my voice. But just from a shot of the ingredients. Do it again. And I'm gonna do it one more time because I think that my camera was dirty. My lens is dirty. That's like a pet peeve that I have. Like, clean your lens. Talking to myself, I must clean my lens, <laughs> not you. <laughs> you can do whatever you like. All right, so got that shot. And then now we need to do a shot with the spices. So that is the thing that makes this eggnog different. First of all, it's the, um, yeah, we're so behind the scenes, okay? <laughs> yes, Trisha, this is like special. <laughs> so um, I, what I like about this eggnog, different, what's different about this eggnog is that, also this, this camera, what's different about this eggnog is that it has coconut cream in it and it also has additional spices that you might not use in, a regular eggnog. So the normal spice is cinnamon. I, I imagine everyone uses cinnamon, right? And then you have optional additional spices, which are basically like the pumpkin spice kinds of things um, for the most part. Optional are allspice. And I don't have a, um, an organic allspice yet or an organic nutmeg unless I just ordered it just now. But, um, I am getting a Thrive Market. Um, I just got a Thrive Market membership and Thrive Market, you know, they deliver everything uh, to your house because we're only doing online groceries. What are you guys doing with this whole uh, coronavirus thing? We're only doing online grocery shopping. So I have become the queen of Instacart, the queen of Walmart groceries, the queen of um, Whole30 curbside pickup, ordering it through Amazon. What is it, Amazon? Prime or whatever it's called. Um, and then now I've been getting um, Mitzvitz Market, the um, the vegetable boxes, because uh, of course they're organic. And at first I thought they were locally grown. That's why I was getting those. And then, um, and then, um, but they're not necessarily locally grown, but they're organic. And then now I'm doing Thrive Market because they have like really, really good whole ingredients. Um, like clean ingredients for low prices. Thank you, uh, Stephanie, for saying that. Um, uh, you have never tried eggnog, Laura. Thank you for saying that. Have a nice voice. I appreciate that. All right, so I'm gonna set up the spices. Oh, and sugar. Like literally, not even. What is it? Not even healthy sugar. Just old-fashioned cane sugar. I'm not even trying to be cute with it. Instead to put sugar, I'm gonna put sugar because you know what. With paleo, I like to use um, I like to use coconut sugar, but coconut sugar does not have the same. Um, it doesn't. It doesn't. It's not. It's not as sweet. So I have my glass of water that I'm drinking over there. All right. So here we are. How we do those separately? And then these are the these are the optional ones. Y'all, when you see how easy this is, you're gonna be like, I cannot believe it took you an hour <laughs> to film that. Well, it's because we're chatting, we're talking, right? Instacart. Seriously. Okay, so Trisha says, um, 
she goes shopping by herself. Laura has not done done Thrive Kroger. Yeah, you go into Kroger. Uh huh. So I let me tell you something. The, in our area, and I don't know if um, Cindy's still here, but if she is here, she might be able to attest that in general here, Kroger's are not like the most ritzy stores. And so, um, and so, I don't really like going to my closest Kroger, just in general, normally, I have to kind of go out of my way to like a one that's not, you know, it's, it's kind of close. It's that's the next to the Walmart I go to, but I don't know. It just doesn't feel like it's like that convenient. And so I don't usually go to Kroger, but now that I'm getting ordering, I don't have to experience like the inside of the store. I just get the great products because the Instacart people, they do a great job ordering products. And I imagine um, Robin, you would agree uh, with that. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. I oh, local honey for your sugar. That is really good. Um, <laughs> it's true, sometimes gathering the ingredients is hard work. Okay, oh, and then I almost forgot to show the eggs in the video. Four whole eggs. All right, now, oh, I do get to be a little fancy. Someone said, I, someone said fancy, I'm gonna show you fancy, okay? So I decided that since I am going to be doing cooking videos, I want to buy some fancy. Unfortunately, it doesn't match my kitchen, but I would like it to match my kitchen. I wanna get like um, gold hardware. found the old Farmer Jacks that are Kroger and are not up to par. That's interesting. Yeah, because I mean, I don't love my Kroger here, but um, but um, yeah, the food as you know, the food that's in the stores, it comes out really, comes out really good. It's like better than, better than getting stuff in Walmart. So here we have, uh, oh, so yeah, I'm going to have to measure off. You're right. I'm going to have to measure all these ingredients. So yeah, I got these fancy um, looking measuring cups because, okay, we're YouTubers. Most of us here are YouTubers. And so you know, when you watch other people's videos, you're like, oh my gosh, what a good idea. I should get these at match. If I show you, let me show you, I'm gonna show you the ones I had in my, with the last time I filmed. Can I get a shout out if you know where these came from? Okay, so I'm just I'm just becoming fancy right now. Exactly. Thank you, Trisha. Okay, you're not alone, honey. You're not alone. This is Dollar Tree. <laughs> you're not alone. I'm just saying, this is all behind the scenes. This is okay. So a cup of sugar. You can see that, right? All right. Let's get moving. Let me grab. Oh. Huh. I don't see any little any ramekins, so I'm just gonna put the seasonings in there. All right, so mix egg, cinnamon, and optional additional spices and sugar. Okay, so this is telling me to put the eggs and the sugar and the spices to mix those. I'm glad you're here, ladies, because I know that you cook. <laughs> Can I do that in the um <laughs> in the blender? Are eggs wet enough for me to put that in the blender with no problem without any liquid? Literally have to ask y'all. I'm not gonna Google it. Or I could just try it. I can try. I could try it, and we could have a cooking with love um, experience, which is like who knows what's going to happen with that. So if you all did not hear me say I am not a, a great um, a great cook, so Trisha's saying the red are the premium. The best part is when the 
the paint wears off and you're like, oh, exactly. There's no paint on those. <laughs> That's funny. Thank you, Sheila. I'm telling you, like literally, I know. I you know you all share with me, so uh, share with us on YouTube. Hey, subscribe to each other's channels if you if you uh, or check out each other's channels for sure. I mean, every single person except for the maybe the person from um, from um, Sri Lanka. Every single person is um, a YouTuber, so please check out each other's channels. Maybe we can do a collab. <laughs> it has to be super easy if it's cooking. <laughs> All right, actually, I'm not signing up for any collab right now, y'all, because you know I don't know how to stay on YouTube properly, right? You know I'm always coming and going because I don't do right. Okay, now, how am I gonna get the film of a teaspoon of sugar? I mean, um, teaspoon of cinnamon. The way I'm gonna get the, oh, I forgot cinnamon. Oh no, it's here. The way I'm gonna get the, I hope I got, yeah, I have some. The way I'm gonna get, I'm not gonna worry about filming that. Okay, so then of course, you know, you see I got these, I got these fancy um measuring cups also, I mean spoons also. I have a haul full of hand, fancy stuff that I just um that I just oh thank you, Nana. I pour all the ingredients in at once, and Laura says. Um I did a fancy I have a, a a haul video where I show you all this fancy um um how, kitchen housewares equipment that I bought. But see this one, the whole purpose of this is that it's like square, which I'm sure you guys have seen before. But for me, the first time I saw it, I was like, oh my God, that's so cool. It's square so we can go right into the the um, the um spice jars. Cool, that's cool. So sugar, okay, I mean cinnamon, I'm gonna use, mm, I'm gonna use a little bit of ginger. A quarter teaspoon. I think I'll do allspice or nutmeg. I don't have cloves. Hmm. I think nutmeg. I think allspice is too too heavy. So I'll do um that and then no. Nah, I don't think I'll do ginger. I think Ginger might give it a nice little little bite. Yay, Trisha and Laura hanging up out and hooking up. Yeah, because see, oh, you just subscribe. Yeah, because you two both do um, clothing hauls and stuff like that. Cool. Yeah, we could collab on a healthy recipe for sure. So, what do you think with these ingredients? Would you put um ginger in? I'm not. I'm gonna be safe rather than sorry. Do not put ginger in, although I might just like set it to the side because um, I feel like sometimes, you know, ginger gives things a nice little kick. Oh man, I should have taken a picture of this. Can I take a picture of this with a quarter? Does this make any sense or that stupid? It's upside down on my hand. Oh yeah, a nice Instagram pic if I turn it this way. Seriously, talk about convoluted. Hmm. Should have done this. It's upside down. A quarter teaspoon of what is this? A quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. Right. And all I have is footage of me looking crazy. All right, that's it. I'm not, I'm not, I'm just doing cinnamon and nutmeg. Yeah. Okay, I can't help myself, y'all. I'm doing, um, yeah. You know what, Laura, it's so funny because yesterday, I don't know if I already told you this in the comments, but yesterday I was telling another lady, um, another YouTuber about your channel 
I did. I sent you. I, I wrote you that um, comment on your thing. I was telling another YouTuber about your channel, and I was like, I know she just changed her channel name, but um, of course I was able to find you under your old channel name. You know, by like you said, by Phil Sprinkle Channel. All right, so I forgot to film that, but there you go. All right, let's get going. All right, so first thing is the we're doing the eggs. So we're doing the eggs. I have learned, let me pull this closer to that camera up there so they can see. I could turn it around and show, but that's silly. Y'all, this, can you see? Yeah. I have this a ninja blender. I am a ninja, big ninja fan. Yay, everybody subscribing to everybody. I'm a big ninja fan, and that includes this uh, ninja blender. All right, so it says to put that mix eggs, cinnamon, and spices, spices, spices and sugar. Let's do it. So I'm going to wash my hands again. Just cause. And grab a dish towel. And should be able to move these fancy things out of the way. I think I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need it for the vanilla extract. How much vanilla extract? A teaspoon, I'm sure. Yep. Just leave it there. All right. So, all right. So I know y'all know about this, right? So cracking the egg flat against the the um, table to avoid the purpose of that is to avoid eggshells. But guess who doesn't avoid eggshells necessarily by doing that? And that's not going to be good. I'm not going to. Do that again. Yeah, I'll just pack them into the bowl. So I won't. Have actual problems. Okay, so if any of you recently joined or did joined after I said that I am no Holly homemaker, period, in any respect of the word, and that it um, you will you will know that if you've ever watched any of my clean with me videos or home you know like home organization videos because it's like I'm just trying to get my life together. So um, we don't know exactly. How, I mean, it will turn out well. Listen, I'm not I'm not um, terrible. Right, and this. And this. That's a good angle, but it's fine because I have none of the other ones. And the sugar and the seasoning. I mean, the spices. Yeah, I still shove my fingers, fingers into pride open. I know, I'm sure, I'm sure, <laughs> I'm sure I just did that myself. <laughs> All right, so now it said, it said actually to um, mix that a little bit. So I'm gonna, I guess, cover your ears for the noise. Plugged in, power it on. Oh. Yay! You were right. You were right, ladies, of course. I know you knew you were right. And I believed you. Uh, so that worked fine. All right, so I just mixed that up together a little bit. And now putting in the other ingredients from the lightest to the heaviest. So instead of trying to film that, I will 
show this. Condensed milk. Ooh. See, these are things that I would not anticipate. I'm sure most ladies would know. Oh, I think I heard, I've never cooked with condensed milk. I mean, maybe. Oh, you know what? Alexis, my daughter, she cooks with condensed milk. How do I get this way? How do I get? Um, she cooks with con, makes, not cooks, but this is not. First of all, it's not even cooking, right? There's there's no heat happening here, y'all. And I'm like, oh, cooking with love. But hey, I'm not gonna call it blending with love. So. Just give me uh, some leeway there. All right, the next thing is the coconut cream, I imagine, or evaporated milk. What did it say? Coconut cream. Coconut cream. Evaporated milk. Oh, that's interesting. Making a mess. Uh oh. Some more evaporated milk. Huh, look at that. I don't see how, if, if how much eggnog is that going to be? 32 ounces of eggnog. That's not going to fit in there. All right, let me move all this stuff out of the way. So, do you all rinse out your cans and all this sort of stuff for recycling? I don't. I don't want to say this too loud because my daughter will like go crazy with it. But I read an article that says that most places are not even when, when they collect the recycling. Something about like China stopped accepting our um, our recycling or something, whatever. So now most of the places don't even like recycle anymore. Like they don't, they haven't told us that. It's not a conspiracy theory one. This was actually like a regular article. <laughs> but I didn't do any more research into it, so I don't know. I'm still continuing as though recycling is happening because that's what I want to be happening. So this is not, this is interesting. This is. 30, not gonna fit 32 ounces of that in here. So I'm gonna, here we are, cooking with love. Y'all could have been like, listen, could you add, could you add up these, uh, the ounces of things? Yeah, I didn't. I bet, oh, I forgot to put the, um, the vanilla extract in there, but I bet, this stuff tastes, would taste just fine without the added, um, added eggnog. It has four eggs in it. How, much, how many eggs are in regular eggnog? I mean, who knows? Anyway, so a teaspoon of this vanilla extract. A little bit more than a teaspoon. Yeah, China Stock is setting. Dang. Oh, they sent it to Malaysia. Okay, well, that's good to know. Yeah. Oh, that's good to know that they're sending it someplace else because I'm just like, oh my goodness. Okay, 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 blend. So some of the stuff is, of course, sticking to the side a little bit. So, so this is not thick at all. There's no thickness here at all. I suppose that the eggnog is gonna make it thick? Or is eggnog normally thick? Oh, it's not gonna be, it's not like thick, like you can feel it thick, like it's just thick compared to not thick, so, okay. Or do you normally put more eggs in eggnog? Who knows?
All right, so here's my plan. This is one quart. How many, how many ounces in a quart? Google's my friend. Yeah, well, with the eggs, they say that, um, cause you're putting, I'm, I'm, we're putting rum in ours, that it um, kind of sterilizes things. Eggnog is thick, it was thicker than regular milk. So I guess this should be thicker than regular milk cause it has eggs in it and it has, um, and it has uh, the condensed milk. So that's good. How many ounces in a pint, a quart, Court. We never see, we hardly ever see pints anymore in a quart. In a quart, 32 ounces, like I thought. Okay, great. So there are 56 ounces in here. So what I'm gonna do is just approximately, like pour approximately half of that in here. Well, it doesn't matter. In there. I'm going to take this whole thing off even though I supposedly don't have to. So I'm going to do some fancy mixing. <laughs> I don't know how well this is going to work out for the, um, the actual uh, recipe video, but hey, I'm having fun with, I'm having fun with you all, but you can't see me. Okay, you can't see me. You can see me. Okay, max liquid is 64 ounces. All right, so basically, it's gonna be. All right, and so now we're doing this thing like what we're pouring from this to that. <laughs> this is cooking with, I'm telling you my life but it's okay it works out fine is it gonna taste good yes <laughs> and i haven't had a drink yet Woo. all right so throwing this back in here and i think of course there's one more Blend or something, we should be good. I don't even know if I need to blend it. Just point it back and forth, right? I don't think I need to blend it anymore. Blend it for what? It's blended. All right. <laughs> don't try this at home, ladies. <laughs> don't try this at home. All right, y'all, that's it. I'm done with that. I made it. I've done it. Oh no. <laughs> Y'all. So whoever said that's lots of energy, that's lots of noggy. I forgot the alcohol. So we're not done yet. We're not even done yet. I forgot to put the alcohol in the room. So they said start with half. A half cup and go up to a cup and a half. So I'm gonna, they said to start with a half cup and go up to a cup and a half. So I'm going to average that out and put in one cup of, <laughs> wait, that's a lot though. Look, that is a lot. This this is um Havana Club rum. I got it from Cuba. I went to Cuba, y'all. All right, so the only thing is that I don't think a cup of rum is that is too much. If it's if it is too much, it's I don't know if it's gonna be too much. I'm not a big drinker, but I'm a big girl, so alcohol um alcohol it takes a while for alcohol to touch you. Um, I'm gonna go with three quarters of a cup. Because who wants to ruin? Oh yeah, thanks, Robin. Exactly. Because who wants to? 
Laura said half of one point five cups. No, I'm ordering. Th I'm adding three quarters of a cup because I mean, who wants to? What? You don't want to ruin your eggnog. I don't think that's enough. Enough. I cannot believe believe I'm doing it this way. Do y'all have a better way for me to do this other than doing back and forth? I'm so glad that you're here because I don't think anybody would believe me when I say how even the simplest thing can turn into a comedy. All right. Now, what's a fancy? I don't know. I don't know what kind of fancy. Oh, I do know. A fancy glass. <laughs> Let me just taste a little bit of this. Oh my goodness, y'all! Look how fancy the glass is. It had. Wait, wait. Can you see? It's so fancy, it still has a tag on it. And this is not something I bought recently. Just remember that learn to be a happy homemaker? Yeah, that's that, for real, for real. Half, half the recipe. It does seem like such a small amount. Exactly, I don't know why I got too much right here. But. Absolutely not. Yeah. I'm putting another three quarters of a cup. I don't even taste that at all. No, I don't taste it at all. Boom. So three quarters of a cup, another three quarters of a cup made that a cup and a half. Laura's an engineer, but I can I can add uh, a cup and a half. Though. But isn't that cool, ladies? Laura is an engineer, and I don't know what everybody else does, but if um, Cindy's still there, Cindy owns a private school. She owns a whole school. Very cool. I know that um, Sheila and Stephanie are super moms, and now Stephanie is super grandma. They are super moms galore. I know that. But I know that um, Sheila also works. Well, she does. But yeah, super powerful, awesome women who also, you guys all have, like whoever's working, um, or moms, you are also YouTubers doing your thing. I think I feel that a little bit. <laughs> I'm like a, a fresh glass so I can um, taste the difference. I'm not sure. I might feel that a little bit. I'm over pouring. A mathematician, isn't that cool? <laughs> Very cool. That tastes great, y'all. I still don't taste that alcohol that much, but we're gonna still pump the brakes on it because it doesn't mean it's not there. It tastes great. Um. You might put a little more cinnamon or something like that, but what we found is that when you let it sit, like you put it in the refrigerator and you put it overnight, the flavors meld very well, and then you have a real idea of how it tastes. But I think it will be, I think it's gonna be perfect. So you say, you can still say bon appetit 
even though it's a drink, right? Because it's like good appetite, right? Bon appétit. And thank you for coming. I love you guys so much. I really appreciate you for coming here and being with me here. And I'm glad that you all, right? It could need ginger, like a little bit of, mm, but I'm going to try that tomorrow and see. Because, um, oh, look at these women making things happen. Nana is a regional VP. Wow, in the insurance industry. Wow. Look at that, movers and shakers, making things happen. Yeah, so I, mm, you know what? No, nah, I think I'm gonna leave it because in the past I have done that before. I tried to keep adding stuff to it when I didn't realize that I should just like leave it alone and let the flavors melt. So I guess what I will do is I will try, after this, I'll try and take some fancy photos. I keep breathing over it. Mm, I was trying to take some fancy photos. And I'm not, you know, y'all know I'm not even, it's not, um, I'm not good at um, uploading to YouTube. I'm even worse with Instagram and stuff. I need to stop saying these things. There's like, there's power in the word. And so even though I'm like being honest with the way I see things, I need to speak life into myself and say positive things. Because I am here on YouTube right now. I am doing very well. I'm going to continue doing well. I'm gonna kick butt as a matter of fact. <laughs> and be a better YouTuber. So I have these fancy bell, yes, I have these fancy bell jar alternatives and they are called, um, you use jars, I'm going to um, pour, for old jars, I'm going to pour some of this stuff in here so I can put some in the freezer. Or actually, oh, um, a key part of this of this um, recipe is that they say to, that you need to chill it, and preferably you chill it um, for a few hours. I'm gonna clean up this area so I can take this. Um, I didn't pour out the eggnog. I'm cool with this area so I can take these some photos. Cause you know, really that's finishing the job, right? As um, YouTubers, making sure we get the um the photos and um thank you, Nana, for saying that my saying that. I appreciate that. Um okay, so it's like I don't know. I think I don't I know for sure Laura is um on Instagram, uh, Robin is on Instagram, um, and who else did I see on here? I'm trying to think. It's like obviously the. Um, I don't know. Are you? How, how are you? Are, I don't know if, if um, Trisha, if you're still here, are you good at doing um Instagram? And what about you, Nana? And then I don't know. I don't. I don't know about Stephanie if she's still there. She does that. But I'm trying to like get it all together by making sure I um kind of just everything everywhere else, just anywhere else, just put it anywhere else. <laughs> Hashtag beco becoming becoming a neater cook. I'm becoming a neater cook. Ah, oh, great. I just mean Instagram, period. I mean, I definitely haven't been doing any IGTV. Not me, 
but I just need to learn. I just need to just get on Instagram, period. I think it helps when you like use Instagram, when you actually use it for yourself. It helps you to be able to, I mean, if you like, if you like Instagram, if you like scroll on it. But since I don't do that, it kind of, it's not easy for me to think of it. So trying to take everything out of the scene. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to try and make some, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make fancy pictures, who knows? Let me just try to get a video, at least. Mm -hmm. I have a mess on the um, counter. Then the background, the other one in the background. Yeah. Uh -oh. I could try for Instagram first. So the key is to make sure that you don't fill it all the way to the end, um, to anywhere near the rim, especially if you're gonna freeze it in a jar that has this little lip to it. Oh, nice. <laughs> I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take this behind the scenes video of this mess when I put, just poured this stuff onto the counter. Can you see that? <laughs> All right, ladies, uh, I don't know how to make um, pretty pictures. That is about as pretty as it's gonna get for now. Thank you so much for coming. I really appreciate it. I look forward to seeing your videos and um, hanging out with you all. Uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks for, for coming. I love you guys. I appreciate you so much and see you next time. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Ciao ladies, ciao friends. I don't know if I, I don't want to end the broadcast if y'all are still talking to each other. <laughs> I'm like, you didn't, I didn't, am I supposed to give you a chance to say goodbye to each other, right? Did you? Yeah, you said, thank you for going, coming love. Okay, I enjoyed your live. That was fun. Bye, ladies. Okay, so I see you. Okay, <laughs> bye.